you listening to me, Neo? Or were you looking at the woman in the red dress? I was... Look again. Everybody, 99.99% of the population of this world is under the belief that they live in a infinite universe with ever-expanding galaxies. They're under the belief that they themselves evolved over billions of years from a single-celled amoeba. They're under be their belief that everything was created from a big bang where nothing became everything and somehow matter formed together to, to basically progress to the humans that we see today and that you basically evolved from pond scum. Everybody just believes it. No one's just thinking about it, but it's a belief. It's an underlying a foundational understanding that people hold unconsciously. Based off that belief, people behave in certain ways because most of our thoughts and actions and behaviors are based on the unconscious, stuff that exists below our conscious mind. Based on these beliefs, people behave and act in certain ways that makes them very malleable and subject to control. Because when you believe that everything came from a big bang, and when you believe that you evolved over billions of years from single-celled amoeba, you have an understanding that there's really no God in that situation. You there's no what? higher deity, okay? So why would they lie? I don't know. Because if they can trick you away from noticing the creation that for me and people like me is quite obvious, they can trick you away from understanding that there is a creator. That's why I think they lie. Other people could say other reasons. They could be including more land. But the flat earth has a particular reaction from people because everyone is already programmed to think it's the stupidest thing you could ever say. Oh, well, people used to think the earth was flat until we became smarter, until we learned. People are predisposed to think it's literally moronic. Now, we're walking around here being looked at as the morons. But what we understand that most don't realize is the world is under a mass deception, a deception the likes of which are hard to comprehend. And to me, that's the biggest issue with understanding the lies of NASA, the lies of the globe, and embracing that we live in a level horizontal world is because most people cannot grasp the magnitude of the deception. So because they can't understand how or why such a huge deception could be perpetrated, they reject the evidence that shows that there are no proofs to the globe and heliocentric model. And indeed, all proofs point to a level horizontal world in which oceans do not show curvature. Water lies level and flat when at rest. Everything yeah. they do is is occulted, all of it. It's ritualistic. It was carried through the mystery schools. Most of it is based off the ancient mystery school of Hermeticism, instituted through the Kabbalion. This is what they follow. This is very likely. You see it in the mystery schools. You, you can see it in things like the Theosophical Society that was brought up. You can see it in the Golden Dawn. Okay, You can see it through all the principles of Hermeticism. These are mystery schools. It appears as though the true information has been carried by the elites throughout the years. It's been obscured from the average plebe. All right, and they presented us with a religion, a cosmology, an educational system, and a history that appears to be completely made up and instituted for control and deception. That's the sad reality, and it goes back to what I said at the beginning. Most people cannot grasp the magnitude of such a deception, so in the face of information that contradicts the reality that's been presented to them, they will reject it because they are not prepared to face it because the information challenges their entire paradigm, their worldview, the lens through which they see this world. Our very identities are based on the deception. 
on the conditioning to embrace the things that we're talking about tonight, challenges one's identity, the foundational way that they view themselves in this realm. It's too hard. It's too hard for people to let go. So they will abandon logic and they will emotionally cling to the fantasy that's created for them because the consequences of opening oneself up to the truth is too difficult for almost everybody. It's proclaimed by the so-called authorities and it's placed into our consciousness from the earliest age that we can even like view anything. The earliest uh, cartoons, TV shows, school, it's all about evolution, dinosaurs, solar system. These things yeah. were presented to us at such a young age. We, we presuppose them as fact when yeah, the reality what, um... is there, nothing other than belief. They just present a time frame that's so great that it just boggles your mind. It's the same thing they do with the astronomy. They just give you these stars that are so far away, trillions of miles away, multiple light years away, that it just boggles your mind. If you can get the mass of humanity to believe in something that contradicts their experience, it contradicts their entire reality, you can get them to do anything. If you can convince a bunch of people that they're moving when you obviously know you're not moving, you then have a society ripe for control.